And now I'm pleased to introduce Professor Hugh Taylor from Yale University, with whom I was able to speak briefly earlier today. Professor Taylor has published more than 500 peer-reviewed publications and is professor of medicine and president of the Society for Reproductive Medicine. So I'm Hugh Taylor. I'm the chair of obstetrics and gynecology at the Yale School of Medicine. I'm also serving as president of the American Society for Reproductive Medicine this year. Would you take a moment and tell us uh, the study that you published in scientific reports with prenatal exposure to um, animals? So again, being an obstetrician gynecologist, I'm particularly interested in the effects on development. That's a very vulnerable time when organ systems are just forming. Uh, that's probably the time when we're most susceptible to lots of different insults and damage. So we wanted to know if radiation from a cell phone could be harmful to a developing fetus, to the uh, baby while still in the, in the mother's womb. Um, so we exposed um, mice during pregnancy uh, to a cell phone. And as a control group, uh, we used a cell phone that was uh, not connected, so not broadcasting, not sig sending out a signal to the tower, so not emitting that radiation. So we had two groups, those that were exposed, cell phone um, on the top of the mouse cage versus a control group with an inactive, non-broadcasting cell phone. Um, and then we waited till the pups were born they were no longer exposed to a cell phone after they were born. So this only looked at the effects of exposure during pregnancy, while they were in the womb, while they were still developing. And we found that these mice, after they growed up, still had residual damage from that cell phone exposure, that they uh, were more hyperactive, their memory was poor, um, yet uh, they didn't seem anxious about that. Uh, so they were again bouncing off the bouncing off the cage uh, without a care in the world, um, uh, much like you might think of as ADHD or some conditions that affect people. I'm not saying that mice had that condition because we don't diagnose that medical condition in a mouse, uh, but I think that's what it most closely modeled. Um, so I'm really worried about the effect of cell phone exposure, uh, radiation exposure to the fetus. Again, key developmental points are often our most vulnerable time, and the damage done to the fetus uh, is carried with that uh, baby after birth and into adulthood. Um, this is a very important time for us to be vigilant about. What is so fascinating about your work is that you demonstrated behavioral effects of cell phone radiation. We've talked a little bit about the work of other researchers that have shown effects on the hippocampus, uh, so that there's a physiological foundation uh, for, for what you've established. Because what they have shown is that prenatally exposed animals then subsequently develop literally smaller hippocampus and more capacity than for damage later on. Um, have you been able to do any follow-up studies to these? Well, it's nice to see that a lot of the work that we've done has been confirmed in other ways, looking at other areas of the brain or other, other types of uh, outcomes. So it's nice to see the consensus there. And it's nice to see this confirmed in humans in the epidemiologic literature, where although you don't uh, intentionally expose humans to something harmful, there are plenty of now data that correlate high cell phone use with these types of conditions like ADHD in the children. Uh, I, I use the precautionary principle. If something is implicated as harmful, we need to study it more. And in the meantime, protect those who are at risk, protect the vulnerable from these exposures. Uh, you know, I think we can't wait for this to work through the courts and through uh, rethinking these uh, pro federal regulatory processes. I think we need to act now. And if I were a, um, uh, someone considering pregnancy or someone who is pregnant or a mother of a young child, I think it's just important to move that cell phone away from you and not be exposed to that radiation any more than possible. Uh, you know, uh, uh, not that we would give up using a cell phone entirely, uh, but uh, certainly don't uh, leave it on constantly on your side or uh, near your abdomen uh, when you're pregnant.